Welcome back. I'm really glad to uh, do this video because it's going to make development a lot easier and that's what this series is all about. Easy WordPress development. We're not going to waste time fiddling around with code or some codecs. Um, I'm going to introduce you to my favorite plugin and it's something I recently discovered. It's not like I've known about it for a long time uh, before I had to do things the hard way. But I'll share this tip with you. Uh, go to your plugins page and install plugins and search for advanced custom fields. And if you know about this plugin, then I don't need to explain how cool it is and how powerful it can be. Uh, go ahead and install it. Now, this is not a plugin that um, is for your average user. This is more of a developer's plugin. Uh, it doesn't do things for you. Uh, so to speak on the front end, it's more of a tool for uh, taking care of some of the back end code that you would normally have to do yourself in either your functions.php file or your own custom plugin. Anyway, uh, once you install it and activate it, you'll see this little area here called custom fields. And we're going to go ahead and create a group, a field group. For this, I'll call it um, front page fields. And let's go ahead and just create one really quick. I'll add a field and let's see. Let me go back to. We'll start with this section right here. I'm going to copy that for later. And for the field label, I wanted to say big, in fact, I did it in all caps, big page title. And uh, don't modify this here, let it stay the same. And for field type, I'll keep it at text. For instructions, I'll put enter a big field title. And I'll make it required. And for the de default value, I'm going to paste what I just copied. And to make sure it works, I'll add an extra word. Really easy WordPress development. And for formatting, I'll just leave it at HTML. You never know, some savvy user might want to, I don't know, put a class to it or whatever. But anyway. I'll close it and the next thing I need to do is uh, set the location. Now the location is actually where or what page you want this field to go to and I want it to go to my home page so I'm going to choose page is equal to home and then down here let's see order number don't worry about position uh, that's just the position of the meta box we'll leave it normal at the center and then hide on screen. Uh, for this field, let's go ahead and hide the content editor because we're never going to use the loop uh, to pull in content for the home page. We're going to use a custom field. Uh, and we're, since we're already using the loop for our blog postings, which I showed you how to do in the last video, um, we don't need to worry about it. I could say the same for featured image, but I might want to use that in the future. So for now, I'll just leave it. And I'm going to go ahead and publish. And for pages, I'm going to go to my home page. And now you can see my editor is gone. And all I have here is a uh, big page title field and the instructions and the stuff that I left as default. I'm going to update this. And I'll go back to view page. And of course, it's not going to be there because, like I said, this is a development tool. This is not something that uh, it's going to do everything for you you'll still have to do a little bit of coding. So we won't get off too easy. Up here at the top, let's go find where we hard coded this stuff in. And you can see we have uh, easy WordPress development. And what I'm gonna do is uh, take this and cut it out. And we're gonna open up PHP. And this, what this plugin does is it gives you a new function you can use called the field. <coughs> and it takes in uh, two arguments. The first one is the field name. And I believe it was uh, big page title. If you ever forget what it is, just remember it's the title big underscore page underscore title. And another thing we're going to need is the actual ID of this page. Um, 
WordPress used to show you this ID by default, but I don't think it does anymore. So what I'll do is I'll go to all pages and I'll just hover over this home page and down here at the lower left you'll see the ID is 79. So over here I'm going to put 79. Now keep in mind if you do end up changing your home page to something else for whatever reason, you'll have to get that ID and you'll have to change it here. Uh, let's go ahead and save it. And I'll go back here and I'll visit my site. And bam, really easy WordPress development. And so uh, what I've just, just uh, shown you is how powerful this plugin can be. You can do a lot with it and I'm going to show you um, a few more examples, mainly this slider and this tab. And uh, I'll leave it to you to figure out how to change the big title message and the big title button. And you can even change where this button goes to. I may do that one for you because that's a little bit tougher. Anyway, uh, play around with the plugin. And, um, you know, see you next video. I'll go ahead and update it again just for fun. Just because I love how easy that is before I had to hard code all this stuff. Um, that's going to be it for now. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't done so yet, still at this point, please go ahead and subscribe. Like my videos. Follow me on MySpace and all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.